what do we say about science and religion? Are they opposing each other? The Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was the first human to enter outer space in 1961. He said, I looked and looked, but I didn't see God. Twelve years later, the American astronaut James Irwin, who landed on the moon in 1973, said, I felt the power of God as I have never felt it before. That the man from the moon came to be with you and tell you that Jesus loves you. Wherever you are, as Colonel Irwin said, God knows where you are. Dear friends, these are two diametrically opposing viewpoints from two scientists from two different backgrounds voicing their personal opinions. Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam stated in his book, Ignited Minds, that both science and spirituality are seeking to find truth in two different routes. Science and technology are the foundations on which modern civilizations have been built up. Today, we cannot think of our life on Earth without the modern facilities offered by science and technology. The developed countries make use of this in development, be it in the comforts of living conditions or the cure from a deadly disease. Today, the world has shrunk into a village, thanks to the advancement made in science and technology. Science is a double-edged word, a gift of God to humanity when used with divine compassion and kindness to fellow beings and nature but a weapon in the hands of ruthless autocrats and cruel monarchs. Science can bring unimaginable devastation, like massive destruction caused by a nuclear bomb or uncontrollable pandemics caused by artificially engineered viruses. I am happy that the Yohannan Mathama Study Center is having Atma Vipushan Dr. G. Madhavan Nayar, the former chairman ISRO, to give the keynote address today and will be followed by scientists and scholars who take classes in the following eight weeks. The early learning process of science has to parts. One, creating awareness among the students of a frontier area in modern science and technology, thereby kindling their interest and curiosity in science. This will go a long way in turning the students to science and specific areas of science in the years to come. Number two, Getting the idea of science as a great tool for the benefit of fellow beings and preservation of nature. The topics and the speakers have been carefully chosen to realize this objective. We have leading figures from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Indian Institute for Space and Science and Technology, Sri Chitra Institute of Medical Science and Technology, Kerala Technical University, and Atomic Energy Establishment at Kodankulam. We want the students to be value-based scientists of the day and future. I compliment 
the JMM Study Center for having organized a series of lectures. I do congratulate the students and teachers who are participating in this program. The JMM Study Center aims at maturing students and youth to citizens with a strong sense of social justice which was the message the late lamented Most Reverend Dr. Yohanan Martama Metropolitan, after whom the center is named, wanted to happen. On behalf of the Martama Church as a whole, and all the friends present over here, I wish this program all success. May God Almighty bless the organizers of the program in JMM, the scientists who deliver the lectures, and the participating students and teachers who are here to learn. I wish all of you a bright future to be useful to humans and God. Dear friends, in all humility, giving praises to God Almighty, and seeking the cooperation of all, I formally inaugurate this program, Frontiers of Science and Technology. God bless.